Well, following on from the last video where I dropped off the uh, motorhome at the heart of England service centre, um, they've just given me a call to say that uh, the van is ready and did I want to <laughs> did I want to be picked up and taken there um, that was very kind of them wasn't it so I'm just walking up now from the boat up to the uh, the entrance which there's a there's a little sort of pull-in place up there where you know people can sort of pull in and turn around it's by a garden centre so uh, they're going to come and get me and uh, take me to collect the van with its brand new Fiamma F80S awning I hope it's going to be alright so the guy picked me up, it was actually the service manager, uh, picked me up in this uh, nice little car here and um, brought me back. I've paid the extra, it was um, £105 to be paid, but here is, here is the motorhome with the uh, awning on top. Didn't have that this morning, this morning no awning. Um, I haven't. I haven't tried it out because it's just a standard awning and the uh, the winder bit will be up here yeah there it is there up there so that bit you notice it's the, it's the blooming full length of the van completely full length so it comes right down to um, just over the door here which is absolutely brilliant so it's, it's gonna be great isn't it that's fantastic I'm really really happy with that so uh, when we get it back oh, I might try it out when we get back um, and uh, we'll see see how it works so there it is um, really easy to uh, to set up just the uh, the legs uh, on these uh, sort of tightening screw things here you can put those up and down as it were so um, that's the, the material on top quite a nice sort of grey colour and uh, quite nicely it's got um, this bit of sort of foam on the end of here to protect the, the bodywork uh, when it's leaning up against the van like that. That's quite nice. The, the awning does come with a few extra bits and pieces like these sort of bodywork um, fittings so you can fit these on the bodywork and get the legs into there if there's nowhere you can't put them in. Um, it comes with uh, a set of winding handle fittings and a set of hard standing um, pegs. Yeah, what we didn't get is, uh, and I've, I've sort of forgot to order it, is the central sort of rafter that uh, supports the, the vinyl covering coming out down the middle but you can always buy one of those later on and I think we'll do that we'll probably order it um, we'll probably order it online have it sent um, rather than going to a dealership but from from back here you see it's looking pretty nice I think with the black I was gonna get silver um, I think the black matches in well when you look at the the bottom here and then you sort of match in with the top uh, so it's, it looks quite nice I think yeah so quite a good choice 
the FACS and look it goes it's sort of it's so huge and long um, I'm surprised because the we had a um, we tried to get it fitted by another um, motorhome dealer that's actually closer a little while ago um, called Venture or Redline but they specialize in um, VW campers uh, but they do do motorhomes and stuff like that and our size but it's really difficult to get a quote out of them although they did verbally say it'd be about 1200 quid um, so uh, and they were saying well the 3.7 meter won't fit and they were going to go for 3.2 I think it was like you know one and a half to two foot shorter than that um, which I don't think will I don't, I don't think will be um, much good anyway um, now I'm back at the boat what I want to say is that I have uh, fitted these um, these things that hold uh, these sort of barge poles and stuff like that they sort of fit in there and the gang planks and stuff like that however um, notice that our sort of um, barge pole for pushing us off edges and stuff like that um, comes right back to here when it's fitted there uh, so although I've drilled holes in the top of the boat and I've tapped them to put screws in when we get the canopy the canopy will come right down to here uh, <laughs> so um, anything forward of the hatch has got to be sort of cleared off um, so I've got to take those off and move them which is a bit of a bad news really but there you go I bought some uh, metal metal putty epoxy metal epoxy stuff to fill the holes up and then I'll just sort of paint over the top so we'll see how that goes but uh, yeah so the um, see the van from here you know what looks great with the black on it excellent anyway that's it for today see you next time bye for now